Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to study for pharmacology because pharmacology is one of, if not the hardest course in nursing school and it was difficult for me. I almost got a B in pharmacology which is not the end of the world if you get a B or a C. It's not the end of the world but for me I was a straight A student and to be so close to getting a B I was like so nervous and anxious taking that course the entire time and it was just probably not good for my overall health how stressed I was but anyways I ended up getting an A in pharmacology so I'm going to tell you my study tips and some study tips that I recommend for you guys when studying pharmacology. So the first thing is to take really, really good notes in class. Whether you type them or handwrite them out, find a study method that works for you and stick with it. Because the more you bounce around between study methods, then it, you just don't have like a solid plan and it can lead to errors and missing things. So have a, so a solid study method when studying pharmacology. The next thing that I did is after each class, I would go home and whatever medication we studied I would hand write them out and make like a very colorful handwritten study guide and I would hand write it all out study it a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch and then once I was finished with the study guide I would go back and I would hand write it again from memory so I would make sure that I could understand every single thing to the point where I could verbalize it explain it write it out sing it dream it you name it I could knew the information forwards and backwards that's another thing. It's really important to be able to know information forwards and backwards. So if I say, you know, what are beta blockers, you should be able to tell me what beta blockers are versus if I said, what's a medication that reduces the workload on the heart by slowing the heart rate down, it lowers the blood pressure, it works with the beta agonists or whatever. I'm actually not super sure if that's even right. But you know what I mean? You should be able to recognize information forwards and backwards, not just studying it one direction because on the test you need to be able to know it forwards and backwards and analyze it. The next tip that I have, and I wish I had this in nursing school because oh, it would have made my pharmacology class so much easier, is the MedMaster course by nrsng.com. I've talked about it a lot because that's because I really, really believe in it and I really think it's wonderful for you guys and such a great resource and I really wish everyone would, you know, know how great of a resource it is. So that's why I talk about it so much. But basically the MedMaster course gives you all of like the main medications and not just the main medications. They give you tons of medications, but they have videos for each medication that breaks it down into how it works. How, what are the side effects? What are the indications? Why are we using it? I mean, all, everything, but it's very broken down and simplified and easy to follow. And it's video in a voiceover, so that way you can follow along. If you're a visual learner or whatever type of learner you are, it hits all of those main points and it's, it's really, really great. And I highly, highly recommend it. If you're interested in it, the link will be down below, so check it out. Also, nrcng.com has a bunch of other great resources, so make sure you check those out as well. But yeah, that is what I did to study for pharmacology and what I recommend. I wish I still had my nursing school notes and everything that I could like pull up and show you guys like all of the writing I did. Seriously, when I threw away a bunch of stuff, I had probably a stack that I'm actually sitting on the ground right now. So it was like above my head in all of this paperwork and notes that I had taken and printed out and assignments and all of that. And I didn't save it because I don't really need it, but I guess I maybe, maybe I should have. I don't know. But anyways, water under the bridge. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.